Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Libras. Um, this is going to be your video. I, I attempted to make this video once already. Me and Otto were just playing, and he got a little rough with me. He's in a mood today. I mean, I was down on the floor playing with him. <sighs> okay, so I tried to make this video once already, and then I got a, I got a phone call from my sweetheart. Um... I got that distraction, so I had to stop, and I was going to pause it, but the, the video ended while I was on the phone, so I had to start over, but I'm going to say that I'm glad that I had to start over, because y'all had a lot going on, and it just looked like a lot, a lot, so hopefully we can get a clearer picture now that I know what I'm getting myself into, because y'all got a lot going on, and I was feeling very anxious. So, I took some time out for myself, played with Otto, Miss Mary came downstairs, she's sitting in the living room watching me make videos, Otto's at the, the top of the stairs laying there watching me, anyway, just know that if you do have a lot going on, it's going to be okay. It looked like there was something that didn't turn out the way you had hoped. But let's see what comes out this time. Spirit, can you please guide this reading and give us the overall energy, how you're working in this situation for Libras. And Miss Mary's a Libra. And she came downstairs for the first time since probably New Year's or maybe before. And she was actually up walking around by herself, and she was in her husband's office, reminiscing. So, I don't know what that means, but this is amazing. I love it when she's able to get downstairs and spend time with me. So, I gotta hurry up and finish these videos so I can spend time with her. Spirit, can you please guide the gift of reading? Much better, much better. You got the sun. So that's the happiest card there is. Maybe whatever was going on is going to be getting better. Maybe it's already better. And then you have a bonus card. Oh my goodness. Look at that. A choice again. A choice that's going to lead you to everything you could ever want. Okay? And I'm going to keep it simple and leave it there. <clears throat> and then you have judgment. Uh, maybe you have a situation going on that involves karma. That spirit's working in that situation. And a while ago, there was something going on that involved um, too many people. Or something that was taking the focus off of your situation. Maybe the relationship. Because the emperor showed up. But let's go deeper and see what comes out. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please speak clearly to me about... And see the sun coming through the window? And I'm just going to leave it. Because it's part of the reading. And that was what it was saying a while ago. There was some kind of higher level commitment that was happening. Okay, and that there was a third party involved, and that's exactly what's coming out again. Maybe that's the judgment, and that's the choice. Sometimes we have to make a choice. Sometimes we just have to choose where people fit in our lives. Because maybe they can all stay somewhere, okay? Um, Spirit, can you clarify the sun, please? For the sign of Libra. Clarify what's going on with the sun. I see two children here. Could be twins. Or it could just be that twin dynamic. Because I see two people there. Two people here. Maybe you have red hair. Reddish blonde hair. Maybe you have brown hair. There it comes again. Same cards. The same cards. <clears throat> Something is stopping you from having, and I'm getting that passionate feeling again. Oh, Jesus, help me with this reading. Help me, sweetheart. Help me. Okay. You were sad and had regrets that this new beginning did not happen. And nightmares about this third party. But 
it, maybe it wasn't even a third party. Maybe you just thought it was. Something, there's something here. There's too many people, and this is making you have a painful ending. You're not quite to the end yet, but you're almost to the end of this third party, whatever this is. <coughs> and in this particular card, it can represent three people. It can represent institutions. It can represent career choices. Spending more time focusing on finances or money or whatever's taking the focus off of your relationship. Whatever's coming between you and the person that you care about is causing you a lot of distress, a lot of negative thoughts, feeling like you're not enough, a lot of sadness. You might be staying up crying at night about this situation. Mm. And that's clarifying the sun. Spirit, how is this clarifying? Thank you so very much. <clears throat> This card came out just like this. You have a lot of confusion. You guys need to um, focus your thoughts on, on the sun. You, have, you need to focus on the good things that God is doing in your life. <clears throat> <coughs> and you need to open your throat chakra. But God wants to give you the sun. Jumping around on me. But you're stuck in this energy. You're stuck in sadness. You're stuck in this. It's a lot of a lot of negative thoughts. Somebody might be talking ugly to you. You might be talking ugly to yourself. But that's just not true. There's still one cup right here that's been promised to you. You know that it's been promised to you. And you have to get your thoughts in line with God's Word. You have to get your thoughts in line with God's Word. Because your thoughts are powerful. And what you think is what happens. Believe it or not, that's what happens. Okay? And this new beginning that's been delayed, it's not that it's not coming. It's been delayed because there's something standing in the way. Okay. Clarify the lover spirit. Clarify the lover. Clarify this choice. What's this choice about, spirit? Clarify this choice for my Libra friends. What choice do you need to make? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have you have a person. That's a good communicator. They don't put up with any bullshit. They're serious. They're dedicated. But they can be loving and kind. That you have to make a choice about. Do you want this person or not? Do they want you or not? Okay. Clarify judgment, spirit. Clarify judgment. Somehow this love is meant to be. And then you have two bonus cards. Choices again. It's not coming to you because you're not deciding. Jesus, these readings are so eerie. They're all the same. They're all the same. Spirit wants to move something towards you very quickly, but you're holding the process up because you haven't decided how these people fit into your life. You have to decide. God gives you free will to make decisions. But things are going to continue to move because God's going to keep things moving. And you might miss an opportunity because you got in the way. You have to choose what's best for you. Okay? And this is what God wants to give you. Somehow. This is exactly what came out a while ago. But it was a lot more confusing. 
Yeah. The wheel is about to turn. The wheel of fortune showed up, and it's about to turn. <clears throat> but you're not celebrating. You're supposed to be celebrating some kind of relationship. This is supposed to be halfway to marriage, but it's not. And you see what's happening? This is not good karma. If you want good karma, this is what you need to do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You decide. There's, there's karma attached to this situation. And you're not seeing it clearly. And that's your card, Libra. That's your card. These thoughts that you're having, you need to take control over your thoughts. Your thoughts, your self-talk, your negativity is blinding you to the truth. Somebody just pulled up. Hold on one second. There's just going to be a distraction because she's just sitting in the car. And that's probably stuff that's happening to you that's keeping you from being focused. Spirit, which way do you want to go next? Let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah. Balance. Give and take. Equal give and take. If there's not equal give and take... This balance is going to be disrupted. Some, you know what all this means. I'm not sure. But these situations are happening to your life. And you have to decide. You're dealing with the wrong person. I don't know if this is the right person. Let's find out. Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. Is this the right person or the wrong person? You haven't decided either. There you are showing up again. That could be you. Maybe you're not being kind to yourself. Or maybe it's another person. It might be two sides of yourself. I don't know. You know though. You know exactly what this means. But she's looking away. They go good together like this, but not so much like this. Sometimes too, being too much alike is not a good thing either. <clears throat> what would you have happen here? That hanged man is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Virgo, Libra, that means justice. Then we got Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, and Aquarius over here. Maybe you have on jeans and black boots. Uh, maybe you have salt and pepper gray hair. Maybe you have a beard. Maybe mountains with snow caps are relevant. Maybe fireflies, owls, wildflowers. Mm, maybe you're on a concrete slab of some sort. Maybe what you need is hidden from you right now. You have a big sword though. You're good at communication. There's not a lot of communication because somebody's not speaking up. There's a Queen of Pentacles here, which indicates this. Pentacles are the earth element. I'm not sure. Let's clarify these. Clarify this hanged man spirit. Why are why are they um, in hanged man mode about this situation? What's going on here, spirit? So deeper, thank you so much. Uh oh. There's been some kind of betrayal. There's been some kind of betrayal. Somebody tried to get away with saying something they shouldn't have, doing something they shouldn't have, and it's causing friction. And it's something to do with this third party and not having a new beginning. It's coming. But it's in delay because there's one too many people in this situation. Again, third party. And it's in reverse. So that means what you don't see coming is this is ending. Whatever this is. Okay? Third parties, I've already explained to you what they can represent. <clears throat> Spirit, what else do you want to say? Like, let's clarify it again with another deck. Let's see what happens when we look at this deck of cards. 
Here, here, let's go deeper into this message for the Libras who might see this video. I'm sorry, you guys. I wish this was a better video for you. Okay, Spirit, clear for the sun. Ta-da! The same message. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're being stubborn. There's somebody's love that you're not accepting. And it's supposed to be coming at you very quickly, but you're just not accepting it. And this is what it will lead to. Ten of Cups. Everything emotionally you could ever want. But you're just not accepting it. What needs to happen, Spirit? What, what needs to happen? <clears throat> you got to get rid of that third party. Whatever it is. And you already know. You already know. It's something that you're emotional about. And it could involve somebody doing some spying. This is the same message. You guys, you've got to start being intentional about creating what you want. Anything else, Spirit? You want to show them something from the Good Tarot? All right, let's look at the Good Tarot. Let's look at what you can have if you start being intentional about your thoughts and creating what you want. Getting into God's will and what He wants for your life. What can you have if you do that? Make a list of the things that you want to see happen. Be intentional. Create what you want. Ask God for what you want and show you what you need. Spirit, what can they have? Honor! Chill out! Sorry. Show them, Libras, what I told you they didn't have a distraction. Show us what they can have when they get intentional. There can be no, the end to the spy, and there's something about a queen of cups here. That's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody's spying on a queen of cups, and it's going to end if you become intentional. What happens when this spying on this queen of cups ends? I'm making a video. I'm sorry. What happens when it ends? Okay, show me what you want to show me. I might be asking the wrong question. What am I missing about this sign on this Queen of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups? How are they relevant to this third party? Show me clearly what you're trying to say. Please, Spirit, show me clearly with all these distractions. Okay. So. Give me a second. I want to make sure I show you this correctly. There's something going on here with some spying. Manipulation that tends to backfire. So, there's some kind of manipulation that's messing up your balance. This spying is causing you to be out of balance. And it's got your fortune moving in the wrong direction. Exact same message that we had a while ago. Remember? Jesus. Okay. Y'all remember. Y'all already know. But justice, again, is coming. Spirit, what would you like to see happen in this situation? Too many cards. I'm going to put them back. 
that's a lot. Spirit wants a lot more for you. A lot more than what you're giving yourself. What would you like to see happen, Spirit? Can you please speak clearly to us? Show us. I'm telling y'all, it's a lot. <laughs> And it's coming out with force, so it's being emphasized. Okay, Spirit, show us clearly what you want with one or two cards at a time. Thank you so much. That's a lot, y'all. <laughs> one more time, Spirit. Can we please get a clear picture for the reader? The same message again. Everything you could ever want is going to come through transforming your thoughts transforming your life becoming intentional about what you want to create and getting yourself out of situations that do not serve your greater good <clears throat> dang there's just a lot going on with the Libras in this reading All right, they're determined to come out again, and I have to take them. That third party is showing up again, and so is this betrayal, and you're not seeing clearly, or maybe you are seeing clearly now how it's affecting your life. That spirit wants to give you everything, same message, everything. I'm not going to continue on. I'm going to give you some heal yourself because there's a lot of healing that needs to take place in your life. All right, so how can the Libras that might see this video find healing in their situations from this whatever is hindering them? You know, you already know that you're supposed to be with a certain person and you know exactly who that is. Maybe you're going to get a letter, maybe you're going to get a message or a text, or maybe you already have and you're not sure how to respond to it. You know how to respond to it. You might have a green necklace, beautiful, or beads around your neck. You might have silk sheets on your bed, blue satin sheets. You might have wallpaper that's peeling in your bedroom. What else, Spirit? Mm. Spirit, speak to me clearly. Y'all got a lot going on, and I'm sorry. If you need a private reading, you can let me know privately, and I can work with you privately. I am charging for that now, though. Just so you know. Thank you so much. You need to know that you're beautiful, and you need to have faith in yourself and in God. Something's making you not feel beautiful. And it's making you a face shaken. And then stop procrastinating. Maybe you've been procrastinating about something you need to do. Maybe you have an oil lamp, some beautiful jewelry. You're beautiful. You have a black cat. Time. Time, 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 time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. There's something to do with divine timing. And that wheel is here. The wheel is turning with or without you. And you can either stay stuck in this cycle and continue with karma in the negative sense. Or you can move towards your destiny. It's up to you. Okay? But the wheel's turning. The world's changing. By March or April, this cycle's closing, and everything that's not left behind is going to move forward with you probably for the next two years again. Spirit, what are you going to give them for their angel cards to help them close out this cycle? Finally, mm -hmm. courage. Spirit's going to give you the courage. Spirit's going to give you the courage. 
What else do I do? Anything else for my Libra friends? There's that sexuality again. Something about sexuality. I have no idea. It's showing up in almost all the readings. And divine protection. Take it as it resonates, I guess. I have no clue. <laughs> Somebody knows. Somebody knows. Okay, I have and every fair from fair sometimes declines. That's about Shakespeare. Somehow Shakespeare, somehow the fall is relevant. Somehow music is relevant. You might have that doggy, or that might be a bear paw, whatever resonates with you. There's a key. Somebody needs a key to something. Live your dream. And the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. Maybe you are a grandma. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Here, give me trinket, please, from this bowl as well. Okay, same thing. This is for the same person. Jesus, there's that music note with the skull on it. That beautiful heart of yours again. Live your dream again. Why are you not living your dream? And then there's not one but two babies. <laughs> okay. And... The world, that's the clarifying the world, and then the anchor, whatever that means, and the fall. The fall is showing up twice from two different trinket bowls. Something's happening in the fall, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, Libra, that's the reading. I love you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.